everyone. Today we are going to be learning the rectangle method for finding area. Our learning target for today is I can find the area of triangles and parallelograms. Let's start off today reviewing what we learned yesterday about the area of rectangles. We know that the area of rectangles is found by calculating the base times the height. So if down here is the base and that is one, two, three, four, five centimeters, and then the height right here is three centimeters, we know that we'll find 15 square centimeters inside. And we can actually count that. by counting those 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so let's use a little bit of what we know about rectangles to help us figure out the area of triangles. When I look at the area of triangles, it's not quite so easy to just count the squares that are inside. Because if I tried to count the squares inside, I'd say that we'd end up with some partial squares. And to really be accurate, we can't say, ooh, I don't know, this looks like about a fourth of a square and this looks like about a half, because it just might not be 100% accurate. So instead, when we're dealing with triangles, we can take what we know about with these rectangles and apply that. So let me show you what I mean here. I started off our example with a right triangle. Because a right triangle, when you put two of them together, it makes a rectangle. So now we can calculate the area of this rectangle. So it has a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 centimeters. And it has a height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 centimeters. So we know that the area of the rectangle is equal to 42 square centimeters, right? So if we cut the rectangle in half, we should be left with half of the area. So I cut the rectangle in half, and now this triangle here is going to be half of that. So the area of that triangle is equal to 21 square centimeters. Okay, so that method works really nicely when we have a right triangle, when we can just draw in another triangle, split it in half from corner to corner, and it's good. Well, sometimes we don't have that kind of triangle, and I would say more often than not, we don't. But we can use the same method to figure out the area of the triangle. But it just maybe takes another couple steps. So looking at this triangle here, I'm actually going to kind of split it down the middle so that I'm looking at a couple of rectangles that I can make. And when I make the rectangles, I want to make sure that the triangle, the angle on the triangle cuts it from corner to corner. So let me show you what I mean. So now what I'm going to do is draw in a rectangle where the angle on my triangle splits it in half from corner to corner. See here how my rectangle is split in half from corner to corner. Now I can figure out the area of this rectangle and it has a base of 1, 2, 3, a height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the area of this rectangle here is 18 centimeters squared. So the area of the triangle, just that little triangle part, would be half of that, or 9 square centimeters, because we cut that in half. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to draw in another rectangle. And I'm going to see what the area of that rectangle is. So here we've got a base of 1, 2, 3, a height. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one is 18 centimeters squared as well. 
So half of that would be 9 square centimeters. So right here, this little rect or this little triangle and this little triangle are each 9 square centimeters. So all together, we have a total area of 18 square centimeters. We can use this same idea with a parallelogram. We can draw the split the parallelogram into a couple of different parts where we're looking at different triangles and a main rectangle. So the first thing that I'll do is find my triangles and draw the rectangles around them so that the rectangles are cut in half from corner to corner. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then I can find the area of those rectangles, split it in half to find the area of those two little triangles. So the area of each of the rectangles, this is one and a half for a base and one, two, three, four for a height. So one and one half times four is six. And then the area of this little triangle would be three. Same thing on the other side. I have a base of one and one half and then a height of one, two, three, four. So one and one half times four is six. So the area half of that is three. And then I can find the area for, then I can just find the area for this middle rectangle. And this one has a base of one, two, three, four, five, six, and a height of one, two, three, four. So six by four, and it's a full rectangle, so I don't need to cut it in half because it's not cut in half. This one is 24 square centimeters. So when I add all of these parts together, I'll have a total area of 30 square centimeters. Sometimes using this method doesn't work out quite as well. And some, when we have a, a parallelogram or a triangle that's on a pretty significant angle or a slant like this one is, we have to use a little bit of a different method. Let me show you what I mean first. If I tried to just draw a rectangle around the parts here, what we can see is that we're left with this little part that is going to be included in our area, but it's really not part of that parallelogram at all. So that's not really going to work. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of a full rectangle that's drawn all the way around and then I'm going to subtract the parts that aren't really part of it. So here is a rectangle that goes all the way around our parallel again. And I'll find the area of that. Imagine that it's perfectly drawn around there. So the area of that parallelogram, or of, pardon me, of that rectangle has a base of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a height of one, two, three. So we're starting off with an area of 24 square centimeters. Then what we need to do from here is subtract the parts that aren't part of that rectangle. So this section we'll need to subtract it, and this section we'll need to subtract. So in order to do this, we need to find out what the area is of those two little sections that we need to subtract. So I'm going to start with this one down here on the bottom right. I'm going to draw a rectangle around it so that it's cut from corner to corner. Find the area of that rectangle and then I'll subtract the part that's not there. So the area of this blue rectangle is one, two, three, four by one, two, three. So 12. And then half of that is really missing right here. 
so I think I'll subtract it. Makes sense. So we're going to take 6 square centimeters away. And then we'll need to do the same thing on the other side. So here we're going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, so 12, so we're going to take away half of that, so another 6 centimeters squared. So altogether we have 24 minus 6 minus 6 for a final area of 12 square centimeters. Okay, here's your quiz for tonight. I want you to use the rectangle method to find the area for these two triangles. You're probably going to want to pause the video and kind of draw it out with your finger a little bit and jot down the numbers on a piece of paper. Good luck and see you tomorrow.